the Republic of Fiji is found in the heart of the South Pacific. It's filled with sandy beaches, warm water, tropical weather and the most friendliest people you're ever likely to meet. It's around a four hour flight direct from Melbourne, Sydney or Brisbane to Nandi in the South Island. The country is made up of over 330 islands with around one third being inhabited for a total population of near on 900,000. Our journey today is with the Link Division of Fiji Airways with a flight from Nandi to Lambasa in the Northern Island. And via the air, you get to see the incredible diversity from mountains to amazing reef systems. I think most kids have been dragged for a holiday to Fiji uh, for what they thought was organised for them. The other major industry is sugar exports, which as you fly over and drive through the island, you see is such a major factor in the growth of Fiji. And during a pretty cold Melbourne winter, it was great to get out of the plane and feel that warm Fijian air makes a great difference. Then we jumped in the car to go to Nukumbadi Island, which is a fantastic resort just off the western side of the northern island of Fiji. It's an interesting 40 minute drive where you get to see up close what the island's really like. You get mountains that come all the way down to see some incredible coconut plantations and of course the sugar cane before we hit what we're after, the water. Hola! <laughs> Absolutely. Very good, very special, lovely. Hola. Or Vanaka. Vanaka. That's uh, two words we need to uh, know, isn't it? Bulla and Vanaka. 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 Now, there's seven different rooms at Nukabadi Resort, and they're all overlooking the water. And as you can imagine, with a view like that, She's pretty inviting just to run out and jump into that water. It's just stunning. And they're all pretty spacious rooms with lots of lovely outdoor settings to make use of the lovely breezes you get here in, uh, in Fiji. Uh, now this is the honeymoon suite, but uh, I'm sure you don't have to be on your honeymoon to come over here. Just beautiful with lovely use of all the, the winds with open windows and just allow that lovely sea breeze to come through um, with just amazing service. And that's something that we... Uh, Get said a lot and taken for granted, but here it really is. Bright big bathrooms, that couple of showers that make their way all to a lovely secluded little outdoor setting as well. So uh, completely covered. You could be the only people in Fiji, you wouldn't know it. It's uh, a beautiful place to sit down and have a beer or a wine or a cocktail and just watch that sun slowly sink into the, the lovely Pacific Ocean. It's going to be hard to beat Fiji, just perfect. Oh, well, Pete, pleased to, pleased to meet Bula, you and uh, Buller, exactly. Lovely yeah, to have you here. It is, it's a marvellous <laughs> place, yeah. Excellent. A nice trip down the road. Ah, it's an interesting drive down, isn't it? Yeah, to yeah, see, you see a lot of the countryside yeah, and you obviously love the place to, oh, to, to have, 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 have bought a yes. place like this and invested here, a lot of time. Been here 25 years. 25 years, Not Jim. going anywhere. No. Well, why would you with a place like this? <laughs> I mean, you, you instantly in the first couple of minutes, you go, I quite like this place, yes, you know. So, yeah. yeah, I think you could do another 25 years too. We have, we have seven bourrées. Yes. So maximum is seven couples, 14 people. Wow. Yeah. So very special quite, little place. Yeah, quite unique. Yeah, very good, very <laughs> good. Library, if you want to read or and just relax by the beach. Yeah. Have a massage and then you can do few cultural things, go for our medicine walk through the bush okay. and learn about all the Fijian herbal medicines that grow on the plants there. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of activities on the island. Yeah. yeah. Here because up here is, it's a very remote part of Fiji. Even yes. All the way along the coast here, nobody has electricity, nobody has running water and they, those villages are still the way they've been for centuries. Wow. And they live they live a you know, hunter-gatherer society, yeah. really. 
every morning they have to get up and work out how they're going to feed the family. Yep, yep. And so some go out fishing and some will go to their gardens and pick uh, root crops and things like that. Well, yeah. that's good. If they're not the relying, yeah, relying on other task, people to, yeah. to look after them, they do it themselves. And uh, yeah. yeah, very good. So very it's, good. A, it's a remote part of Fiji and you can learn a lot. You can see how the Fijian people live yeah. in their villages uh, without the mod cons that we all have back at back in our countries, yes. you know. Uh, that we all think we need, yes. maybe not, you know, because all you can see virtually everywhere in Fiji is a smile, isn't it? And, yes. and, uh, yeah. and they're free. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You can see people who are very, very happy with very, very little of the things we have. Yeah, exactly. In the Western. Happiness yeah. is not by money. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because there's not just fishing here, is there? I mean, you, you, no. there's diving. We have scuba diving, yeah. snorkeling, of course, in the summer. Uh, November to March, we have fantastic surfing out on the reef. Oh, wow. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We have all those sort of activities. Uh, now, Pete also guarantees us a million fish generally every day. Oh, so we yeah. hope so, yes. There's, there's mm. a lot mm. of fish out there, and uh, we're the only people that fish around here, really. So wow. And I think something a little bit different, there's a lot of fly fishing in this area as well, which is yeah. not, not understood um, by a lot of the, no. the, the no. Fijian um, areas. So we're looking to, to do a bit of that and, and, and some of the flats fishing and, and yeah. a lot of trevally, and yeah. it should be, yeah. be a great yeah. place, yeah. yeah. Valley around here. Yeah, yeah. And I think the beauty of a place like this is the husband can come and he can go out fly fishing yeah. and yeah. the partner may not want to fish. No. So and there's plenty to do or plenty not to do plenty around to do. in, in a place like relax. this. Yeah. Now if you've got a bit of time too, there's always uh, plenty of room to sit back and relax. There's plenty of good magazines there and we've got a whole library full of books. So uh, at the end of the day, it's Fiji time and you've got all day to do it. We don't have to be anywhere else, so sit back and relax and read a book. It's not a bad way to spend a bit of time. Over the spinach quiche, I'll go the fish. Yeah, well we'd probably have that at home. Yeah, so and the dessert, because I bet you that's got no calories. That'll be great. Desserts never have a calorie, so that's good. The knucker. The knucker. We've got a couple of hours before the sun goes down, so we're going to duck out to um, some of the mangroves just as the tide's dropping and see if we can't uh, get off the mark with a couple of fish. So, uh, All the poppers are good. Poppers are good. Poppers. What, 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 that was a uh, little, uh, what have we got? <laughs> Barracuda? Yeah. Well, there you go. That was something a bit different there. A nice and spiky teeth, aren't they? Very good. Very aggressive too on that popper, isn't it? They just yeah, whack yeah, it. Yeah. Hold on, mate. Didn't take very long. Alan's our super guide. He promised about a million fish. Well, that's our first one. So we've got a couple more to go. Yeah. No, that one didn't need a kiss. It gets hard when you look at your watch and it's five past five. The tide's all but gone out. The fish aren't there, they're not biting. And at 5.30, back at the room, we've got uh, canapes and champagne. It's a toss up sometimes what, uh, where you should be. Champagne and a canopies. Pilaka. Beautiful. Thanks, Levi. I have even got my feet wet, mate. Well done. aggressive if we get him to open those teeth I'm not putting my hands anywhere near that they're 
just a decent set of munchers and they're, they're poking backwards too. So they will chase a, a bait fish and grab it and it doesn't get away. This one's pretty lucky. He's been uh, hurlied and he's off. Good one. Hold on, Cole. Oh, yeah, first. Let's get off the ring. Hold well on. Here he goes, come on, come on, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, fish. Come on, 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 come on. Get in front of those on the left if you can. Yep. Here it is. As this tide is slowly just coming in, that'll bring a few of the fish in with it and uh, they'll move in there to feed. Lovely little, uh, so there'll be a blue trevally with these lovely fluorescent blue. They're as vivid as anything you can imagine, particularly straight out of the water and just a lovely fish. And they're very streamlined, very fast, very powerful and very mean too. You wouldn't want to be a little bait fish when these things are around. So, uh... Perfect. You did like the popper. Yeah. Very good. Now we just need his bigger brother. And his sister. And his mother and father. Fantastic. Traditional Fijian... Beach barbecue. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just cook the fish on hot stones. Yep. Freshly caught, of course. Yep. An hour or so ago. So just the fire, hot stones, put them on the top of that. Yep. Throw out the tablecloth when you're finished. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thank you. We will. Uh, apologies for that. Beautiful. Oh, the wake? Yep. Alright, so he's coming up towards it now. Yep. Which way? Oh, he's still going that way? Yep. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Get it. There we go. Yep, that's good. Whoa. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. And that's uh, tighten up on that drag. And that's why you come to Fiji. You can see that trevally. I mean, you get a, a good guide like Alan. And uh, he spots him from a while away. And uh, you can see him. You just cast, lead him by, you know, we'll get that fly out there by a little bit. And uh, strip as fast as you can sometimes with trevally. They certainly like that and induce that take and off they go and he's still going he's yeah that's a long way <laughs> it's a bit of winding and it's just uh popped off i mean yeah no point crying especially on tv but what they can sometimes do is, is that line, because it's so far out, wrap it around a, a bit of rock or reef or things like that, and it, it'll, it'll stick and it'll give them some purchase to rip that fly out. You know, so anyway. Plenty more trevally here, I think. Al, isn't there, mate? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Plenty more. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Oh. a little one but a nice little trevally any fish on a fly rod's a good one and I've just about locked this drag up oh and it got off still there's the follow 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 come on oh Thank you. 
there we go, another one. That's good. If first you don't succeed, try again. Beautiful. I do love these poppers, Alan, don't they? Yeah. They're just very exciting for them and uh, in, literally in a couple of casts we've, we've hooked two or three. Just wear them out. Just keep that pressure on. I just love this popper. And he's a, uh, he's a little giant Trevally. They, they've got to start off small at some stage. But still great fun to catch those on the flats when you can, you can sight fish them. And you can hear them grunting away and they do refer to uh, a lot of these Trevally as grunters. Yeah. It's still a great fish, just excellent colours. They do look much like almost bright green underwater. They're a strong fish. Yeah, get that hook out and get him back in. Perfect. Yeah. There you go, left in him. Um, it's an amazing place, Fiji, and, and Nukumbadi Resort is just exceptional, you know, with the, the food. You know, sometimes fishing gets in the way of uh, having a great time there. It's just terrific. But Fiji's, there's so much here to explore and it's a great place to come, you know, like when you're in transit, perhaps like we're, we're off to uh, Christmas Island where we go through Fiji. So it's a great place to come, have a few days at the start or the end, or just come here just for Fiji itself because there's a lot to offer here and uh, you can have a lot of fun and you don't necessarily just have to fish all the time. There's plenty of other things to do. You can even go diving, snorkeling, um, you can do anything here because it's, it's just a place where you can do lots or you can do nothing and have a great time as well. So bring your partners, you know, it's not all about fishing as well. You can uh, bring your partners and they can have a pretty good time while you go off fishing as well. So, uh, yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, no, Levi. No, well done. Well done. <laughs> Renaka. That's what you want. Service like that, out in the days fishing and get dropped off literally right at your door. Just incredible, incredible. Can't help but love Fiji.